Okay guys, I'm completely sick of it. Every single time when a German asks me, hey, where do you come from? And I'm saying, well, from Kassel. They say, oh my God, it's so boring there. It's not a beautiful city. Why do you live here? Let me challenge you and show you why Kassel has got some hidden, unknown places. And I'll walk you through my castle. This is the Hercules, Europe's largest hillside park with 246 hectares. Water features and the Hercules statue are one of the reasons why UNESCO added Hercules to the family of UNESCO World Heritage in June 2013. Our friend Neptune is supervising the water features, usually happening around summertime, and it's a spectacular thing. Illumination, beautiful lights, and the water is flowing down, cascading two kilometers here from the park down to the city with pure water pressure. Do you know what happened to the pickaxe of Hercules? Now we're here at downtown Castle, River Fulda, and I'm going to show you a few things around modern art. We have the largest, or one of the largest exhibitions for modern art, Documenta. We're going to see a few castles and much more. Documenta is an exhibition for modern art happening every five years here in Castle. For example, this attraction was established a few years ago and you can focus on Rangerie, one of the most beautiful parks and buildings and places to relax. Maybe you know these famous fairy tales like Little Red Riding Hood, Rumpelstilts Skin, The Frog Prince, Snow White, Hansel and Gretel. Brother Grimm lived here in this house between 1824 and 1826 and also in Castle you find the, a very famous brewery, the local hero brewery, where the granny of the Brother Grimm told the Brother Grimm the story, the fairy tales. And finally, they've written it down in books. Maybe she wants to join us here for a beer. Dorothea Fiemann. She is the nanny of the Brother Grimm's and she told all the fairy tales to the young brother Grimm's and later when they were older and were professors for German language brother Grimm's have written it down but all the great fairy tales which you know from brother Grimm's were told by her. Gabriela Fiemann was born in 1755 here in this place and this was already a restaurant and a pub by her father. Orangerie is an old castle and now one of the most important museums which contains astronomical instruments. You can also find many telescopes, it's an observatory, but currently we cannot see any stars. Now you've seen one of the most beautiful places and face of castle, but why is castle still considered as one of the most ugly cities of Germany? The reason is because Kassel was bombed in the Second World War in the year 1943. Adolf Hitler talked to the German people and wanted to have a car which was affordable for everybody. And one year later, Ferdinand Porsche designed the Volkswagen Beetle, VW Käfer. Volkswagen and other companies here in Kassel like Junker and Henschel not only produce cars, but also tanks and engines for planes. But now finally times have changed and Kassel is producing here at Volkswagen batteries, e-cars and the future of e-mobility which is eco-friendly and CO2 neutral. So large transformation of Kassel which makes Kassel finally more beautiful.